We're back, everybody, and we have a minotaur to kill. Or we're never getting out of here, apparently, so we probably should do that. Where are these bats coming from? So many bats. Maybe a bat here. Now, I'll tell you the annoying thing. You have to go all the way around to get to the minotaur. You, know, you can't just go through. No, yeah. if you go back around, there is a death pit, and you will die. So you literally have to go all the way this way, then down and around. If Alexander will go. And the reason I didn't go ahead and do this in the last video, just do it. There's a lot of plot that's about to occur. And there's a splitting of the story that happens here coming up too. I wanted to be able to talk about it. Like literally, if we would have beat the Minotaur, you know, it would have been another 12, 13 minutes after that. Uh huh. So that would have been a 40 minute video when we could just stop it and then deal with all this when we get to it, which is a lot easier. Alexander hears a low. Yes, yes. AKA, we're close to where he is. I really think this was well designed, though. This is another example of why this, this isn't is the worst maze we've ever seen by any means. No, the may the worst Rats. the worst I've ever seen is in Wayne's World, which I couldn't beat, and I just made up my Microsoft Paint ending. <laughs> I love that. Hmm. This tapestry. Tapestry. Because um, we must look at the tapestries. Now let's see. I don't feel anything. You don't really do. Aha. I, uh, <laughs> I feel Alexander less than the lines the of latch. the new line. A secret door no rolls open. No one ever smiles when you enter a room because you bring joy to no one. All joy. Oh wait. Oh wait. No, I can save when I'm in here. Okay. Are you sure? Ah uh, yes. No! I beg of you. Webby, please. no! Don't hurt me. What? Don't kill Webby. Your struggles are useless. And the useless. Minotaur is also Townsend Coleman. It's the Minotaur. And he's struggling with a wing This was, you know, girl. the cover of the game, too. And, of course, Celeste. one of the tapestries in the new King's Quest. So I made a decision about kind of how I feel about that King's Quest, I think, finally. And it is that the first episode is fantastic. Yeah. And it has lots and lots of love yeah. set into it. And then after that, I don't really know. I think I like the third, the one when you find Alexander... Not the ice puzzles. The ice puzzle one's my least favorite. And I, I don't really like the one when you have to do all of the saving the people, you know, and giving them food and all that. Uh -huh. I don't like that. Were you in the catacombs? Yes, I don't like that one at all. But I like the final one, like when you play as Grandma's an old man. Uh-huh. And that then, one got weird and, like, yeah. meta crazy. I really like that yeah. one. And then the epilogue I really liked. So I've raised my opinion of that one a bit more the just because of how good one the first chapter was. The only one I don't like is the ice. The ice one I, could, I feel like, like it's the same puzzle. If we ever if we ever play that again, I'm just gonna tell you, I will put the old ice back up. I yeah. won't play it. I refuse to play that one again. Refuse. I hated it. Like I almost was like, they're killing the the, the game is dead right here. Yeah. They won't finish it. Oh look, it's a fire! Oops. Catches Lady Celeste's eye. She screams for help. You there, human! Help me! Help! <laughs> oh my! Who dares? You can't tell me there wasn't anyone else that could have got to have done the minute. Like ask you four thousand Coleman's. Like how many things do you give him? Well, when you have a good actor that you're paying. But he doesn't like this. And there could have been somebody Never there. It's like me you doing it. Die, human. True. Chris Hughes method acting. As the Minotaur advances in attack. Until he can back he away no more. Yeah, sort of. This is my one of my favorite deaths in the game right here. Little man. Wouldn't you like to let the girl and I go? <laughs> <laughs> That's so great. I'll take care of the Minotaur, my lady. Have no fear. Um, would you like some mint? Mint? It's t it's sacrilegious. No, you don't. But a mint? No! Die! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.
So what are those skulls he has on the wall? Are they looking like unicorns or no, something? They're minotaur heads, like cow oh. heads. But they have like a single horn yeah. on the forehead. There's something to be said for taking the bull by the horns, Alexander. There's your hint that you're supposed to use the red scarf. Alexander the But, you know. You should... Like, even as a kid, like... I, uh, I didn't have any trouble figuring yeah, out what I was supposed to do here. I mean... That, but that's like kind of until he can no. like, yeah, yeah. well you know watching Bugs Bunny yeah, uh, yeah. Alexander his back inches from the fiery with the pit bowl. tempts the Minotaur with the Red Queen scarf it just needs some Spanish look here you bully <laughs> nice bright red red all of a sudden I don't red. remember that I was going to do stuff now I'm going to kill myself all I do is see red now you behind the red fire <laughs> <laughs> drops from Ooh, sight watch out, the Minotaur! Flames. The fire Slowly, his scream fades as well. I died in it! I was turned into an owl Are you all right? Mm -hmm. no, I am not so spicy! I assume you do not intend to leave me tied up on this vile monstrosity! Ugh. Uh, Maybe oh, I should. I of course not. Sorry. Let's see. If you'll give me a moment, I'll have these untied in no time. I can't wait that long. Look, I wear a small dagger just inside my belt. It should be enough to kill. Alexander cut kills <laughs> the winged one with the All dagger. Right, I, I've got it, Lady Celeste. Here we Thank go. Thank God she shut up. At least he's nice Thank enough you. not to like. You may keep the dagger as a gift for saving my life. That's very generous. Forget it. Do you mind if we just get out of here now? I mean, let's, you know, be rude to the person who actually saves us. Right, well, the winged one's gone. One of my favorite things is the when the winged one oh. are startled by the sound of rock moving against rock. Uh oh, it's a crow with a sparkly eye. Lady Celeste, I'd be well. We should have done this ourselves. Thanks to the bravery of a mere human. So much for your superior intellect. Yes, me lady. <laughs> now bring him along. I'm going home. Skiing guys, I'm going home. <laughs> Bye. Scream you. I do like their thank you. It's just like, thank you. <laughs> I think you have proven yourself the hero of the prophecy. Well, I am expected to thank you for saving my daughter's life. So I thank you. <laughs> I am obliged to thank you for the restoration of our sacred catacombs. It means much to our people. We have already begun the process of clearing the deadly traps from its rooms. It is also my duty to grant you a visit <laughs> with the Oracle. So He's this I do. Well, I will you grant know, you the freedom to leave here to unharmed, kill us. despite my orders to the contrary from the Crown. But there, my obligations to you end. I have no love for Alhazred, but he is my liege. And if Princess Kasima trusts him and wishes to wed him, my guards will take you to the Oracle now. When your time with her is through, I want you to leave the City of the Winged Ones and never return. What happens if we return? We I don't know who yet. you are or what you want here, you can go to the but I will not disobey my no, crown you. further. They don't want you. I thank you, stuff. Lord Azure. I will respect your wishes. Alexander is just so nice. You know this, and this is another callback to the third game where you find out who you are from the Oracle. Yes. Hail to thee, great Oracle! Lord Azure sends you this wingless mail. It appears that he solved the cliffs of logic and defeated the Minotaur in his lair. So I have seen. So this is the one that haunts my pool of late. Welcome, young seeker. What knowledge do you desire? Princess Kasima, whatever you can tell me, great oracle. Ah, of course, the princess. That explains my images. Let us see what we can see. I see a maiden, lovely and pure, but surrounded by evil. She's a rose set amidst bitter thorns. This is another very well It is her fate scene. to be the part of dark beautiful. powers. 
and like yours to try to redeem her. How? How do I redeem her? By sticking your Fate dick in her is not what? like the cut of a blade, young one, but rather like the myriad of paths formed when a hammer cracks ice. I will tell you what I can, but what will actually come to pass is up to you. I see that any attempt to reach the girl will force you into battle. A struggle against a dark force. If you lose, your life will be forfeit. Who must I fight? A great darkness surrounds your adversary, preventing me from seeing clearly. I can only make out the shape of a black cloak. But before this final struggle, but let's I never see talk about the black coat again. That's so dangerous sad. Dangerous game of hide and seek in corridors filled with enemies. The risks are high, but it is the only way to reach the one you seek. There is more than one way into this place. Your choice will dictate much. What else do you see, mighty oracle? Oh, oh, such pain. I see two restless spirits crying out for revenge. These shades could help you destroy the dark force if they were to be brought back from their spiritual form. Yet this is only one possible path to your destiny. I'm afraid this is getting beyond me. I know very little about the afterlife. I can only advise getting counsel from the druids. Be warned. The druids are reclusive and dangerous. They might aid you, or they might destroy you. Like their island, the druids' nature is hidden in the mist. There is nothing more I can do for you, except to give you this. It is water from the sacred pool. That and my blessing go with you. Thank you, great oracle. Yay! We got points. So you know, she even says that there's more than one way for you to move on at this point. You don't have to go in that direction because of the how the druids are. So there are multiple paths. So as you can see, you know, it's been about 13 minutes just to defeat yeah. the Minotaur. So it was like, well... Alexander pulls out his magic map. Is that what he calls it now? This? <laughs> magic map. So... For the first time, the Isle of the Mists shows up. Oh. And I remember as a kid, I hadn't seen this yet, and the friend of mine that played these games with me back then, I remember him calling me on the phone and telling me about a place that would just randomly appear. There's a fifth island? And, yeah, that there was a fifth island, and we were like, what? So, Alexander feels a strange Now, you have to be careful. Sensation. You can go here once and not get killed. But in, you know, if you go back after this, you're instantly taken away. And unless you have the way to defeat it, you are dead. From the northeast come the sounds of mysterious drones really? and chanting. Well, you know what we probably should do? We should probably go near the drumming. Mmm, drumming. And see exactly. <laughs> Alexander is frozen at the spectacle. Oh look, flying. human sacrifice. Oh look, human. <laughs> Some mystical ceremony is taking place. This is a pretty rough but death to too. Purpose, Alexander has no clue. Brothers, it is look. 25 miles an hour out there, motorcycle. Uh -oh. Alexander's been seen. Well, he is kind of just standing there. This must be the foreigner we were warned Yay, Tony about. Jay does this How appropriate cool. that he should come during our raid. It'd be funny festival. if that count was still alive and was Case just like, uh, I think it blinked. Cage. Wait! <laughs> I must rescue the princess! I must There's rescue the... Welcome to the Christmas <laughs> method acting. Must first no, I must himself. rescue the princess! The is pushed into the confine My with acting! The Wait! Must I... Wait! Wait! 
I must rescue the princess. Oh no! This is swung out over the bonfire. The bees. <laughs> They're in my eyes. <laughs> oh, he's turning to red. Feel a little warm. He's starting to feel a little warm. Way yite! I must. <laughs> Did somebody say way yite? Is getting uncomfortably <laughs> hot. Hello, everyone. I'm. <laughs> I am Ian Fleming, Mercifully, here to talk to you about the horrible white coat bias kid. Before the first <laughs> tongues the of flame the <laughs> Did you ever see the wicked Oh, oh no, I'm no, dead. No. Well, well, I guess I'll come back later, Yar. You You'll see me you in the like land the, of the dead. Oh, the, do you like it with? I yeah, like the Christopher, Lee. Yeah, the Christopher Lee. Version. Alexander should have been better prepared. Yeah, aka, don't go there, dummy. <laughs> But we do have to go places, just not there. It's like Alexander is walking with purpose. He... Oh, nobody's here because they're at a ceremony. Alexander is standing in a small village. Arranged around him in a circle are houses built into the hollows of huge trees. In the center of the village is Can a fire pit. Fire? No. With what? Our tinder box. Nope. Steps lead up to the treehouse's entrance. The steps are sheltered by a worn animal hide. As Alexander peers into the dark entryway, he can make out a well-bolted wooden door. Our previous scene where we got burned alive reminded me of something Hello? from... Hello? Um, Is anyone Sins home? The There's no reply. Hmm. Yes. Either nobody's home, or the residents aren't in the mood for visitors. Well, if they'd have heard you, you'd be dead, so... Hello? Is anyone home? There's no reply. Nobody wants you, Alexander. The doors to the trenches are bolted. Everybody hates you. You're useless. Alexander hmm. does... There is, nobody. there is this scythe that we need to take. Scythe. If it's not nailed down. And a piece of coal. Alexander reaches That looks the like the that thing from coal. King's Quest V that they tell us could like destroy the world Alexander if you touch it. Think of less desirable things to carry around than that. Even though it's just an animal head, but like the things on it's what it reminds me of. Two paths end at a clearing here. A path to the south leads back to the beach, and a path to the east leads inland. Around the clearing is a village of tree houses. I ever mentioned just how much I really like the narrator the in this east game. Come the sounds of mysterious drums. It's like a story, and, and like I would listen to him on audio. The audiobooks. island's trees uh -huh. are gnarled and eerie looking. Grayish moss growing fervently in the damp, sun blocking mist coats the tree's knobby branches. From the northeast come the sounds of. They really want us to go to that drumming. Are you sure? Well, it's time for our traditional, let's get into the water. The ocean is... The ocean is... The underwater... Before Alexander oh, can no. retreat, the currents grab his legs. I curse it! I curse the day of the currents are on the... I bless him! As Alexander he's the best character ever! No, he's not! Why do they keep killing oh. me? Why does this man have so many death tickets? Nothing like getting swept off your feet. That was funny never. <laughs> no, not the stink flower. Alexander. Sure? I'm quite sure, yes. Alexander feels a strange pulling. I went to wrong place. <laughs> Why? Hope we don't die. No. No. Because that happens. Not here. Although it'd be interesting if the king, like, if Al Hazard was just waiting on you at this point <laughs> and pulls just out his magic arrows map. and out the ocean and what, Prince? He never showed up. Alexander. He never here. So now that we can do stuff with the Isle of the Beast, let's do so. Oh, it's not so hot anymore. Ooh, uh, ooh, uh, hot, uh, hot, uh, hot. You know, that reminds me. Hot chocolate. Our uh, water did evaporate from our cab our iceberg it's lettuce. It's gone. Why well, I didn't wait till the screen? Because I have to do stuff anyway. Alexander decides to pass through the gate, preparing the shield just in case. That's probably a good just in case. The magic arrow completely shatters the shield. Good thing the arrow didn't hit Alexander. It might have killed him. It has before. <laughs> Alexander takes a magnificent white rose from the rose hedges. 
We're painting the roses red. We're painting the roses red. No time to say hello. Do, 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 do. Alexander walks forward to step onto the gazebo. But the For a second, I thought he, side of the he path, stopped in the middle of the gazebo. Like, reach the out their vines and blend together. The path is blocked. Blocked, you say? Ah, pfft. Alexander wields the scythe, determined to get past the magical rose hedges. The leaves fly as Alexander tries to cut the I branches him to come faster than they can grow back together. <laughs> I have like a tree he growing light. in one of them that I need to like get rid of. He's through. Who dares enter Beast Garden? Well, Townsend called My him because he's the Beast too. I hey, didn't we picked the rose, which is part of the garden. Beauty and the Beast no. story. Yes. And yet, Monsieur, you could hardly have accidentally broken through the three enchanted traps of the Isle of the Beast. Um, I, I suppose it is simply my nature to break through enchanted traps. <sighs> you, must <be> a <laughs> you must be a prince. <laughs> I know the nature of princes all too well. This face you see before you is hideous, is it not? Well, for the <laughs> I'm going face to suck of up to you. Beast, Please don't kill me. Alexander's really never a bad guy. Quite noble. Ha! I'm glad you like it. For you will soon own one just like it. I too was once a pretty prince, caring for nothing but adventuring and rescuing fair maidens. But I rankled one too many evil hags. One dark night, I was turned into this obscenity you see before you, warped in shape and trapped on this enchanted island over a hundred years ago. Surely there is a way off this A hundred years? Oh, <laughs> surely. You broke in, did you not? And yet, think, where would I go clad so eloquently as I am with this silk and this pelt? You see, my prison is also my sanctuary. You are the first to break through the barriers in lo these many years. That is, except for the druids who stole my hmm. heirloom coat of arms. If there's any way the I can have help, supposedly help? Stole his coat of arms. You? It seems like everybody's had I'm a problem with somebody. Don't understand. Are we here to fix everybody's problems? A warning and protection for pets. you more than for me. Your prize for forcing your way past them is to join me in this dire life. By the laws of this sorcery, you are doomed to be trapped in the form of a beast. Your reward for broaching this garden is to be my slave. A slave as beastly as I am. You have only a few hours of humanity left. But that's not possible. There must be some way to break the enchantment. Spells always have a weakness somewhere. The enchantment you are Except under my is, is still to a cat. my own. Well, it's, it's now dead because we put it into the bag out. and... It, yes. But I'm afraid it Quite was only her final bitter joke. You see, I need only find a maiden to join me here. To share my castle, my life, willingly. <laughs> willingly. Take another look at me. You can't help but admire the hag's terrible cruelty and cunning. I shall try to find such a maid, for Cosima's sake. Truly? How determined of you. I personally would not waste my last few hours as a man on an impossible errand. However, you may do as you please. I give you this token. It's my family ring, and the only heirloom I have left. If perchance you should... If you think you have found a maid... I shall give her this ring. Yes, she must accept it of her own free will. <laughs> but does on! She accepts me. Not that you shall find anyone, mind you. Well, of your course we'll find short. somebody, because we Count have found somebody named Beauty. While your fingers you have, pretty prince. You mean no it's the same person you. that has the name of the puzzle story? Maybe. What? They wouldn't be that obvious. Alexander Old. Well, that's right, I already have one. That I haven't used it yet. I was ahead of myself. Where was the gardener? He said, come over here. Ouch, ouch, ouch. 
Go, Alexander. You are being timed. Go. Are you really? Yeah. How? How do they? Alexander time? pulls. You don't. You, I really don't know how much time you get. It's just you have a limited time to figure out what you're doing. Alexander. And then you turned into. I mean, he said you're cursed. I wonder what kind of beast you turned into. A really goofy little thing. It's one of the funniest deaths of the game, because you don't really die. It's one of the like few screens that's not the death screen. It's a black over screen. I just smacked it to the wall. Bang. And it's like, how odd that she is right here. Right when we need her. I don't know what to do, though. We're just gonna stare not even at her. I have no idea what to do. do, 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 do Basically, do, 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 Alexander at this point is just ready to give up the ghost. He has no idea who in the world would want this ring. Could there be anybody... Anybody in the world that would want that ring? Anyone. Anyone that could be even standing here right now that might want this ring. Surely but no one would want the ring. Maybe we should go give it to the night. Do I know anybody? I don't know anybody. I like the, uh, the mountains in the background. I haven't really paid attention to them in the 25 years <laughs> that I've played this game. Look at the artwork. They really took some time on this. This is back when you actually had to draw them as pixel by pixel. And, you know, for a screen that... Pixel by pixel. Yeah, actually, like, almost draw, like, do, 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 you know, like... All this stuff is hand-drawn scanned art and stuff. They oh, really? Yeah. I didn't know that. I thought it was, like, computer drawn. New. Oh. I mean, he's a pixel, but a lot of that's all hand stuff, and then they'd animate it. They scanned it. it. Yeah. But, um... You know, the roses. Hmm, I wonder if those roses would mean anything. I don't know. Obviously, uh, we're just waiting for the death. I don't know. And then this episode will be end because, we'll, you know, it's already gone long while I'm doing the death. I didn't want to start out the episode and go right there and do this, although it could have, but I don't know. Her house looks like it's falling down with all these vines on it. They're fancy. There's like a hole in the wall or something. No, that's a pot. Because you see there's a... She's growing pot! No. Alexander feels a strange sensation. And it isn't a pulling him. sensation. His skin begins to itch. His head throbs. Does he have scabies? Ah! <sighs> Was that the beast you could do? Yep, that's Alexander now. Let's just restart the whole game. <laughs> Let's. Or we'll continue on in the next episode. He would even be less annoying than Cedric would be. He looks like Eeyore. <laughs> oh, bother. I hate my life. Now I can't marry Cosima. Woohoo! That's about right, where he was. Wee, wee, wee! <laughs>